Good afternoon, and welcome to the United States Transportation Command's Annual Award Ceremony for 2021. I'm Staff Sergeant Tiffany Christo from the TCJ3, and I will be your MC for today's event. Officiating today's ceremony is the Commander, United States Transportation Command, General Jacqueline Van Ovost. Accompanying her is our Senior Enlisted Leader, Fleet Master Chief Donald Myrick. We would also like to welcome all general officers, flag officers, senior executive service members, directors, deputy directors, senior enlisted leaders, and family and friends present today. We are pleased to have our teammates from our geographically separated units to include the Joint Enabling Capabilities Command, the Surgeon General's Office, and our Defense Courier personnel here with us today or watching from their locations around the globe. Welcome. Today we gather to honor U.S. Transcom's very best and will recognize 59 nominees, 19 enlisted, 17 officers, and 23 civilians. These nominees competed in five military and three civilian categories, a color guard category, as well as a volunteer category, which is open to both military and civilians. We recognize each nominee for their superb efforts, representing their directorates with pride, dedication, and enthusiasm. They have clearly shown they are the best of the best in the performance of their duties and within the community. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce our nominees for the 2021 Annual Awards. The nominees for the Junior Service Member category are Intelligence Specialist Third Class Cameron Hickman, TCJ2. Hospital Corpsman, 3rd Class, Todd T. Kajorn Kittypum, TCSG. And Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Beam, Jack. Unable to attend, Information Systems Technician, 2nd Class, Bridget Gomez Alvarez, TCJ3. The nominees for the service member category are Technical Sergeant Nathan Heiser, TCCC. <laughs> Technical Sergeant Courtney Morgan, TCJ3. <laughs> Technical Sergeant Robert Nowak, TCJ8. Technical Sergeant Anna Daly, TCSG. And Technical Sergeant Shiraz Dara, Jack. Attending virtually, Yeoman First Class Don Melendez, TCJ1. And unable to attend, Technical Sergeant Ryan Farmer, TCJ2. Our next category is Senior Service Members. The nominees for this category are Master Sergeant Joseph DeWeese, TCCS. <laughs> Senior Master Sergeant Amadi Dingba, TCJ1. Master Sergeant Jason Meline, TCJ3. <laughs> Unable to attend, Master Sergeant Eric Whipple, TCJ8, Master Sergeant Melissa Navarro, TCSG, and Master Sergeant Joseph Leach, Jack. <laughs> For our company grade officer category, the nominees are Major Heath Spriz, JTRU. <laughs> Lieutenant Grace Hall, TCJ2. <laughs> Captain Monica Broha, TCJ3. <laughs> Captain Vincent Coletti, TCJ8. Captain Ryan Wagonant, TCAQ. <laughs> and 
and unable to attend, Captain Aaron Anthony, TCSG, and Captain Nix Arbor, JEC. Representing the field grade officer category, the nominees are Lieutenant Colonel Juan Pizarro, TCCC. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Allison Benko, JTRU. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Adam Fossum, TCJ2. Major David M. Bishop, TCJ3. And Major Chad R. Murray, TCJ5, J4. Major Michael Howard, TCJ6. Lieutenant Colonel James Yanatelli, TCAQ. and Lieutenant Colonel Douglas Duffin, TCJA. <laughs> Attending virtually, Lieutenant Colonel Sylvia Kim, TCSG. <laughs> and unable to attend, Major Jessica Tagatak, TCJ1. <laughs> Our final military category is the Color Guard Award. The nominee is Sergeant Dustin Wiseman, TCJ1. We now turn to our three civilian award categories. For category one, the nominees are Ms. Taylor N. Voss, TCAQ. <laughs> Attending virtually, Ms. Lane E. Hunt, TCJ1. and unable to attend, Ms. Lisa Bowman, TCJ3. From category two, the nominees are Mr. Benjamin Spittler, TCJ2. Mr. Richard Sims, TCJ3. Mr. Adam Sinclair, TCJ9. <laughs> Ms. Alicia Gershner, TCAQ. <laughs> Ms. Lori Sneed, TCJA. and Ms. Gina Pickens, TCSG. <laughs> Attending virtually, Mr. Jeffrey Dial, Jack. <laughs> and unable to attend, Ms. Keitha Schaefer, JTRU, and Mr. David Hausch, TCG1. For the third and final civilian award category, the nominees for category three are Mr. Jamie Howcap, TCJ3. <laughs> Ms. Carol Mullins, TCJ6. <laughs> Mr. Tim Biedenstein, TCAC. Ms. Shonda Lyman, TCAQ. Yeah! Ms. Lure Langevin, TCJA. Yeah! Attending virtually, Ms. Cynthia Bell, TCJ1. Yeah! And Ms. Isu Sesmabasi, TCJ9. Unable to attend, Mr. Todd Spriggs, TCJ2, Mr. Dustin Grove, TCJ5J4, and Ms. Sarah Dorsey, TCJ8. <laughs> and 
And finally, the volunteer category. The nominees are attending virtually, Staff Sergeant Antoine Jamison, TCJ3. <laughs> Unable to attend, Miss Yolanda Molden Verner, Jack. <laughs> Before we announce the winner, I'd like to ask General Van Ovos and Fleet Master Chief Myrick to please come forward. And now the time everyone has been eagerly waiting for. The announcement of those 10 individuals selected for their exceptional performance over the course of 2021. Each winner will receive a trophy, a certificate, the commander's coin, the senior enlisted leader's coin, and a time off award. As your name is called, please come forward. If an award winner is not present, I request that the appropriate director, deputy director, or command representative to please come forward and accept the award on their behalf. Fellow teammates, family, and friends, you are now highly encouraged to enthusiastically sound off as each winner is announced. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For the military categories, our junior service member of the year is Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Beam, Jack. Our service member winner is Technical Sergeant Anna Daly, TCSG. Our senior service member of the year is Master Sergeant Melissa Navarro, TCSG. <laughs> Accepting on her behalf is the TCSG Deputy Director, Captain Joe Patterson. Our company grade officer of the year is Captain Ryan Wigenant, TCAQ. Our field grade officer of the year is Major David Bishop, TCJ3. Our Color Guard Member of the Year is Sergeant Dustin Wiseman, TCJ1.
Now for the civilian categories. Our category one winner is Miss Lane Hunt, TCJ1. <laughs> Accepting on her, her behalf is the TCJ1 director, Colonel Will Cooper. Our category two winner is Mr. Benjamin Spittler, TCJ2. Our category three winner is Mr. Tim Biedenstein, TCAC. And for our final category, the Volunteer of the Year is awarded to Staff Sergeant Antoine Jameson, TCJ3. <laughs> Accepting on his behalf is the Chief Global Operations Center, Brigadier General Bolton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please extend a final round of applause for United States Transportation Command 2021 Annual Award winners. <laughs> General Van Ovost, Fleet Myrick, the floor is yours. What a great afternoon it is for Fleet and I to be here to celebrate the great accomplishments of the men and women of Transportation Command. Our very best, right, Fleet? Absolutely, ma'am. Look, you know, every operation that we take part in around the world begins and ends with you. And I don't lose any sleep at night knowing that you are ready and you have demonstrated your ability to fight, deliver, and win. Your blood, sweat, and tears are our nation's warfighting readiness. And we know for a fact that the Department of Defense success in our nation cannot be accomplished without your effort. Yeah, Fleet, when I think about the packages, our nominees, our, our, our winners, and those around the command, I think about the empowered, competitive warfighting team that you are, exemplified in the many accomplishments from this year. I think about our Jexters, who uh, deployed multiple times, provided critical communication support for our nation's immediate response force. And just think, even for those of you who have been here less than two years, how many times we have used that capability and how much they depend on U.S. Transportation Command to get after it, right? And then I think about those of you who are leading uh, in the NEO task force right here. You know, I thought about the authorities that we use, the problems that you solved, and you moved out, you threw your very best at the nation's w most wicked hard problems, and you delivered, fleet. Ma'am, I would, I would like to highlight our Surgeon General teams who are crushing it with their COVID patient yeah. movements and UCOM support during the Afghan NEO. Uh, we had joint medical evac teams, and I'm gonna say this word, and you're gonna laugh, right? Right, ma'am, it's gonna I be know, funny, I just right? I have this up. Extra corporeal membrane oxygenization, exactly. <laughs> Why, <laughs> Surgeon General, why? But <laughs> why they got so many awards, no one can say extra corporeal. <laughs> but when it's all said and done, seriously, the team's crushed it, and, and more importantly, we, you, you altered 
a lot, a lot of individuals' lives. And for that, we are extremely thankful. Yeah, and I couldn't be more proud of what you do every day. Not only do you go the extra mile here to crush the mission, you're going the extra mile with your family, with your self-development, with the volunteer work that you're doing out in the community, representing you know, the core values uh, of our militaries. Uh, and so when I think about the difference that you make every day, I mean, it's, it's hard when you're, when you're in it and you're in the fight, and many of you know, you spend a lot of hours here, you don't think about the difference that you're making every day out here and into the communities, the thousands of hours spent making our schools better, right, making some NGOs better, our churches better, uh, and, the, and the neighborhoods better. So thanks for, thanks for all of that. But I also say that, you know, we don't do it alone, and I'm sure all of you will say that. So I want to thank all of the supervisors, your peers, right, um, your subordinates, your family members, all that support you to ensure that you can get after it day in and day out. Without them, you would not be sitting here. So I want to give a round of applause to all the team that supports the team. You know, ma'am, uh, we talk about this being a, a team sport, so I think about NASCAR. Uh, you're our pit crew. I mean, seriously, you keep the engine running, and, and that's the reason why we succeed and we always achieve victories. I, will take a moment, I want to take a moment to thank those who organized and took part in this mem memorable event. Our MC, Staff Sergeant Tiffany Christo. Our proffer, YN2 Kenneth Walson. There you go. And always, our national anthem, Miss Kathy Hahn. Oh my gosh, that was awesome! <laughs> Sir, our, our wonderful chaplain, Chaplain Seven. <laughs> Chief Petty Officer Rob Perkins, J1. Yeah. Sergeant First Class, Marshanti Arnold. <laughs> Tech Sergeant Courtney Morgan. Our protocol team, led by Ms. Jules Morgan. And our always, always talented and come through audiovisual team. Yeah. And they made it through the multi-dimensional. I even saw all the folks at the right time. So thanks for that. That takes a lot of work. So thank you for doing all that. One more round of applause for the team. Okay, so the 2021 that was, lots going on. Afghanistan retrograde and NEO were probably the highlights, but there were thousands of other operations, many other issues that you crushed along the way. I say it's a ban it was a banner year. It was a critical year for this command, and it was frankly one from, from not you know, having taken command only in October, understanding the excellence that was going on here, listening across the interagency for the accomplishments of Transcom. Uh, it's just been amazing. Uh, everything they threw your way, you crushed, right? you delivered. And now I think about 2022. I think about the leadership and initiative it's gonna take us to get through 2022. We've already been thrown a curveball. We didn't expect to be here where we are right now. But I have no doubt that this team will crush what 2022 brings us. And I cannot wait to stand on the stage next year and, and talk to everyone about the great work that they had done in 2022. There are many people depending on you right now. And I think about Ukraine. I think about the assistance that you provided them. I think about our assure and deter activities. You delivered forces and equipment forward, right, to assure our NATO allies. You know, all of that, again, I mean it. It, it starts and stops here. So thanks, You're, you can see your footprints everywhere, or fingerprints everywhere, and maybe footprints too, stamping <laughs> them out. <laughs> did you like what I did there? Yes, ma'am. Right. <laughs> all right, all right, you all have a great afternoon. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to our nominees and our awardees. Thank you, General Van Ovos and Fleet Myrick. To each winner and all the nominees, we offer a final well done. 
This concludes today's ceremony. At this time, I ask the winners come forward to have your photos taken. We thank everyone again for your attendance today, both here and remotely.